detective. And what's left of Gotham City will be the criminal underworlds to do with as it pleases. What? Desist with this depraved disintegration, you diabolical despot. The Bat Gang has arrived! Prepare to face the Hammers of Justice! Like, um, what's next? Outrageous! Now that's what I call an entrance. More distractions! Jeepers! He's turned into bat villains! What do we do? Someone's supposed to say holy something about now? Oh, um, holy surrounded by bat villains. Not quite. Try holy Custer's last stand, Batman. How are you so good at this? Come on, gang. I'm gonna miss this. I'm hungry. 
No, 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 Scooby, no. The line is, I'm scared. Try it again. I'm hungry. Uh, no, no, Scoops, it's, I'm scared. The line is, I'm scared. <clears throat> I'm hungry. Huh? It's not, I'm hungry, it's, I'm scared. What? Uh-huh. Okay, Scooby, you know what I just found out? There's no more food. I repeat, there is no more food. I'm scared. Perfect. All right, Saber, just run straight through the glass. This action camera will capture everything in perfect high definition. Fred, what do you think you're doing? I appreciate Saber and all, but I don't need a stuntman. I can do my own stunts. I'm a man of action, after all. No, Fred, you're a man with an ascot. There's a huge difference. Listen, I really appreciate your commitment to the role, Fred, but what would happen if you got hurt, huh? You're one of the stars. If you couldn't continue, the movie would be over. I guess you're right. I, I am pretty important. Of course I'm right. I'm Alan Smithy. Have you seen how many movies I've done? No. Well, it's a lot. There's a whole bunch of them. You have to trust me, Fred. You ready, Saver? And action! Oh, Fred, don't! Medic! Boss, we have a problem. What kind of problem? <laughs> I think we had a wardrobe malfunction. Wardrobe? We're going to need bigger pants. In this scene, the zombies have you cornered. All you need to do is stand there and look scared. Let's practice. Okay, look scared. Yeah, sure, I'll fix it in post. Places, everyone. Action! Yeah. Oh. Well, look out! want to come take a look at this. I don't understand. There wasn't any writing on it before you put it in the oven. Of course! At the library! Chef Edward's lemon juice bottle! You're kidding. During the Revolutionary War, spies would send messages written in invisible ink, which was really just citrus juice that dried clear. Oh! So the paper would taste good if they had to hide it in their mouths, right? No, so that when the paper was heated, the citrus would oxidize and turn brown so it could be read. Everyone's been looking for Chef Edward's personal papers thinking it was a diary or legal documents. But his personal papers were actually this set of personalized parchment he used to wrap up to-go food for soldiers. But why would he write to soldiers in invisible ink? Hmm. <gasps> what is it? What's it say? It looks like detailed information about troop movements. Are you saying Uncle Edward was a spy? It would seem so. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are Continental Army troop movements. American troops. <laughs> no, Scooby. Fred and Bobby need to hear this. I'm sorry, guys, but there's only one kind of soldier for whom this would be useful information. A British soldier. Your Uncle Edward was a spy during the Revolution, but not for the colonies. For England. Jeremiah Noseworthy is right. Chef Edward Duflay was a traitor. <gasps> Sure you left the rest of the parchment on the counter? Absolutely. I bet someone swiped them when we weren't looking. Nobody saw anything? Wait a minute. Has anybody seen Scooby-Doo? 
Or TV's Skip Taylor. I think we found one of them. Scooby, what are you doing under the tablecloth, old buddy? Did you see something scary? <laughs> Will you come on out and tell us about it? <laughs> Check this one out! We bought ourselves some breathing room. <sighs> After all that, I'm starting to wish there was more breathing room in this corset. Oh, oh, can I wear it? Thanks for the assist back there. No problem, but now we need to solve this mystery. The trouble is, we can't slow down to collect clues with those things chasing us. Do we even know they're real pumpkins? Hmm. Stringy, seedy, smoky aftertaste. Mmm, delicious! <laughs> Definitely real pumpkins! <laughs> the fear gas! Maybe we've been exposed to it! Nope. The first thing I did was check the air quality. It's remarkably clear out there. Uh. Velma, are you scared too? Of course not. There's got to be a logical solution to this somewhere in my mind palace. Wow! You live in a palace? No, it's a mind palace. It's a place I can go in my imagination. It's where I keep all of my memories and store the clues for the cases we solve. Eh, uh, that's not as fun. Normally, it's a lot of fun. I just can't seem to find anything in here today. It's because she's scared. Scared? I'm not scared. Are you sure? Because I can never find what I'm looking for, and I'm scared all the time. I'm not scared. You can't be scared of something that isn't real. But they are real. Real pumpkin. But not real monsters. Oh, there's no shame in being scared, Velma. Well, good, because I'm not. Now, can everyone be quiet so I can focus on my mind, Palace? <sighs> now. What do we know about these jack-o'-lanterns? They can turn people into other monster pumpkins, like zombies in the movies. Like they'll eat your pants right off your butt? Uh-oh, no joke. Right off your butt. They smash real good.